In this question, we're being asked to draw a Bohr model diagram for a fluorine iron that formed according to the octet rule. Okay, so to figure this out, first let's figure out how many electrons are in a fluorine atom. So let's go and check that. So we're going to find fluorine. And here's fluorine over here. Fluorine has atomic number nine, which means it has nine protons in it. And so a fluorine atom would have nine electrons. So let's go back and let's start by actually drawing a diagram of the atom and then we can edit that diagram to form our diagram of our iron. So fluorine has nine electrons, so we can start filling them out. We know that means two in the first shell. The first shell can only fit two. And then after that, they can fit up to eight. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's all nine of our electrons have been placed. Okay, so according to the octet rule, our valence shell right now is the second energy level and it has seven electrons. To make it full for the octet rule, to make it complete, we'd need to add one electron. So I'm going to draw that here. So we've added one electron to make that a, uh, an iron that obeys the octet rule. So now how many electrons in total do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can answer that first question here. So now we can answer how many electrons in each energy level. So on the inside energy level, we have one, two in total. That's an energy level one. And then energy level two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, since we wanted that one to be full. Energy level three doesn't have any electrons. That one's empty. So we've got two, then we have eight and zero. Okay, now it's asking us what group is fluorine in. Let's just pop back to our periodic table to check. Fluorine is in group 17. Group 17. How many electrons did the fluorine atom need to gain or lose? Well, we saw that it needed to gain one electron. Gain one electron. And what is the symbol for a fluorine ion? Well, we know it's gonna be the symbol for fluorine, which is F, and then we're gonna add the charge. Now it's gained one electron, and electrons are negatively charged. So it's gained a negative charge of one. So it's gonna be fluorine with a minus sign as the subscript. So we saw that fluorine needed to gain one electron in order to have a full outer shell. And so fluorine ended up with a negative one charge. And we'll actually end up seeing a pattern that things in group 16, such as oxygen, are gonna need to gain two electrons to become uh, stable with a full outer shell. So they're gonna have a charge of negative two. And things in group 15 are gonna need to gain three, and they're gonna end up with a charge of negative three. On the other hand, back here, things that are in group one, we're going to find are going to end up with a charge of plus one, since they're going to be losing a negatively charged electron. And things in group two are going to end up with a charge of plus two, since they're going to be losing two negatively charged electrons. And the same for group 13. They're going to be losing three negatively charged electrons, which will end up with a plus three charge. So this is a shortcut we can use when we're trying to figure out the charge of our ions.